what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for chucky season 2 episode 4 death on denial episode 4 starts with tiffany welcoming glenn and glinda after they caught tiffany cleaning up a bloody mess we know this is related to the detective she just recently killed so this is picking up after the ending of episode 2 that many people thought episode 3 would be picking up from so she lies to glenn and glinda and says it's not blood but corn syrup Glenn and Glenda catch up with their mom in the living room and they both say they are dating a boy named Paul. Uh, Glenda says they've talked to Tiffany's accountant, Stan, and that she's running out of money. Glenda asks, who is Nika Pierce? Later in the night at dinner, Tiffany tells them she met Nika at an event and Nika became obsessed with her. So she installed a new security system just in case. We obviously know that is a lie. Glenn walks off from the table to find his phone charger or find their phone charger. And Glenda admits she had something to tell Tiffany. Glenda asks if when she was already little or if when they were little. If I'm getting this wrong, let me know. Uh, if Glenda asks when they were little, if they had ever hurt someone because they've been having a nightmare about killing Joan from Seed of Chucky. Chucky encouraging her and then asking Tiffany if there is any trauma from their childhood because of this. Glenn goes upstairs and almost walks in on Nika in a locked room, but Tiffany's butler comes by and stops them. Tiffany explains the door is locked because it has her shoes in it. Again, a clear lie. <laughs> downstairs, Tiffany is shocked by a party for Glenn since it's their birthday. Jennifer's relatives are downstairs and they say they've been worried about her. Tiffany wasn't expecting to have guests over tonight. Someone knocks at the front door and it's Jennifer's sister, Meg. Back in the living room, Glenn and Glenda have champagne with their family and toast the family with their Aunt Meg. Tiffany comes back out for the party dressed in a red dress to entertain her guests and tells them it's nice to see them all. Aunt Meg asks Jennifer why she's been distant for the past, I'm assuming, 24 years and it's got worse after she did that Chucky Go Psycho movie, apparently. Tiffany tells her she forgives her because it's becoming clear Tiffany doesn't keep up with Jennifer's family while she pretends to be be her ever since seed of chucky so like this whole interaction she's having with the with the tilly family and with other people connected to jennifer tilly it's very telling about how she's living this double life and how she's kind of not not doing certain things because it might blow her cover that's what i was picking up about how she was being so weird around these people nika is shown gag in the upstairs room looking at a vent and then we jump back downstairs to the shenanigans going on glenn and glenda confirm themselves that they are non-binary so my stupid ass i said earlier correct me if i'm wrong because i hadn't looked at the recap notes so yes they are non-binary tiffany's butler tells them this is stupid because they them are plural tiffany yells at her butler for not guarding the room nika's in and takes him back to guard it when she returns to her guests everyone is gone the power goes out and she gets notified that nika's room has been breached so she goes back and finds her butler dead tiffany inspects the room and meg scares her from behind everyone stumbles onto the body when asked what happened by glinda tiffany passes it off as a murder mystery game and the butler is pretending even though again another lie he is actually dead <laughs> Tiffany says all her guests are suspects and she needs to know who killed the butler and who opened Nika's room. Meg asks what is so important about this room and Tiffany tells the guests she will ask the questions going forward. Tiffany directs them all back to the living room, including Meg, who she calls a Snoopy, Snoopy pants so she can find Nika. Tiffany goes back to her guest and continues to pretend that a murder mystery game is going on. She interrogates them all looking for a potential motive to basically just play into this game she's wanting them to believe is being played. Tiffany tells them that they all are behaving mysteriously and strangely and calls herself the detective so she knows she didn't kill the detective. Uh, she suggests that the misgendering of Glenn and Glinda was enough for each and every one of them to kill the butler, potentially. Uh, Glenn and Glinda both admit that if they killed everyone that insulted them, that half of the country would be dead. So that was like a little nice nugget line there. I thought that was funny. Tiffany storms off to go search for Nika. One of her guests, Gina, who is her Bound co-star, I believe this person is from Bound, starts trying to get intimate with Tiffany. Gina tells her to wait here while she goes to get something. Tiffany goes searching for Nika again and then another guest named Joe grabs her from behind and tries to get sexual with her. 
She asked Joe if he killed the butler, and he says he t he'll tell her in exchange for a blowjob. Glenn is shown interacting with Nika, and they are trying to help Nika escape. Glenn promises that Nika will leave this house tonight. We jumped four months ago, or jumped to four months ago. Glenn and Glenda were over at the house with Tiffany. They drug Tiffany and go upstairs to investigate what she was hiding in the room. They find Nika and ungag her. Nika tells her that their mom is crazy and has been holding her hostage. She just can't go back to where she was because she's wanted in five states. Nika makes a plan with the twins to escape and they promise to help her by gagging her again to leave before gagging her again to leave to leave the room because tiffany's coming glinda comes back because because they forgot their knife and cut and cuts themselves causing chucky to take over nika's body chucky tells glinda he's even they're even more beautiful than he remembers glinda doesn't believe nika because chucky bailed on them when they were younger chucky explains that he wanted to stay in the family but Tif tiffany drove him away he calls Glinda shit face to show he's really Chucky. They make plans to get back at Tiffany. We jump back to present day with Glenn helping Nika. And Nika tells Glenn they are they are a good kid and nothing like their parents. Glenn asks if Chucky is as crazy as Tiffany. And Nika says yes. The lights come back on. Glenn tries to help Nika escape. But the sight of the butler's dead body causes Nika to become Chucky. Glenda asks Glenn from behind or Glenda attacks Glenn from behind and calls him a wuss because they would never agree to kill Tiffany. Glenda takes Chucky downstairs so they can kill Tiffany. Chucky says hi to Tiffany and points a gun at her. Tiffany says they can work things out and Chucky says the only thing to work out is if Tiffany gets shot in the head or in the heart. Chucky tries to shoot but the bullets are gone. Tiffany slaps Chucky and Nika returns to the body to be in control. Glenn calls Nika and tells her to come on so she can escape. Glenda chases after Nika but, bef but not before telling Glenn to ask their mom who is Tiffany Valentine. Nika climbs aboard a vehicle where it's revealed that Kyle is the driver of this vehicle and they are alive. She says it's nice to finally meet Nika. Glenda gets in the vehicle and they drive off. Back in the house, it's revealed Gina was the one who got rid of the bullets because she used them on Joey to kill him. The gun was a birthday gift for Glenn and Glenda. Now, in between all of this, Liv Morgan was coming on set and Chucky just killed her. There's like this... There's something that happens, I think it's prior to the episode and at the end, where ultimately Liv Morgan gets killed. That is her role in episode four. I'm sorry if this was a little all over the place. Episode four, to me, was all over the place, so I try to do my best with this recap. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and then there's a video in the description. I will have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.